Yeah, with Trey, you said you want to see him build on it. You had to lean on him in the first half, too, with Gabe getting into foul trouble. I mean, are you seeing a little bit different? I mean, any, anything different from him? You said you expect this, but just been playing with seems like an edge a little bit. Well, I mean, again, you know, when Gabe got the two fouls, I mean, we, you know, Trey's basically our only ball handler big time on the floor. And and I thought he, he did a great job in, in getting the in our to our sets and getting the ball where it needed to go. And CJ helped out a little bit as well. Um, and then we were able to get Gabe back in, you know, after we rested him a little bit. I went with him uh, before the half, even with the two fouls, and told him to just try to be smart about not picking up his third. Mike, I guess Malik rolls a little bit of all this in. You guys rebounded the ball better as the game went on. He hit all four of his threes, 25 points of career high. Just, I guess, sort of a two-parter, I suppose. Number one, just how much of a weapon can that three-point shot be for him? And how much can you maybe feel when it goes down that he finds a little bit of extra rhythm or a little bit of extra comfort offensively? Well, it helps. I mean, you know, he hadn't taken a whole lot of them this year. Um uh, but the fact that he's shot them all tonight in rhythm, you know, that helps. And that's, you know, with anybody that's shooting a three ball. I mean, if, if you sit there, well, we've had this year quite a few where we set on the free three-point line wide open. We just didn't knock them down. And I thought tonight everybody who made them were in rhythm and felt pretty good. And it was kind of nice to see the ball go through the hole. Mike, because of the way the uh, game played out, you were able to get some extended minutes for Caleb, for CJ, for uh, for Peyton, uh, Anthony Leal, too. Uh, what, what, how do you feel they took advantage of it? Maybe what do they need to work on a little bit, too? Well, again, they haven't played a whole lot of minutes, and you can t see that some of the fatigue set, and even with Peyton, the minutes that he played. Um, but we just, you know, with that group, i got to do extra work. Um, because they're not getting big time minutes. And so when they're called upon, I expect them to play and produce. So, you know, we got to do extra work with that group, which we have been doing, but we got to continue that because you never know. Somebody goes down, you're going to have to depend on them for, you know, a stretch of, of minutes that it help you win a basketball game. So we'll keep working with those guys and. You know, but I was pleased with their play tonight. They they did some good things for us, and um, hopefully we can just grow from that. And after the break, come back ready and get ready for Kennesaw. Mason, last one. Coach, on Tuesday night, you guys had to come back late in the second half. Tonight, different story. You guys are able to kind of pace the field a little bit in that second half. Is there something to be said for just getting a win that, that felt comfortable throughout the night? Yeah, I mean, it's a win's a win to me. Um, because I'm always gauged based on how we play. And we didn't play particularly well in our last ball game, the first half. The second half, when we went on our run, we started playing Indiana basketball. But the night I thought we came out ready and we consistently played well throughout the course of the game. And the results was a win. All right, thanks, Merry Christmas to everyone. Enjoy your holidays.